I want to say hello to Tom, um, Tom Curtin here, because uh, he's an old submariner. Tom, <laughs> I want to talk to you about this, because my son Sean was in the, the Navy, and he said, I want to hear Tom Curtin. Because he was a well, you, that was the navy. The submarine there's a is it a division of the of the navy? It is. It's a completely volunteer uh, uh, division of uh, the navy, and so you volunteer or you unvolunteer anytime. So how many years were you in the subs? I was ten. Ten, ten years. years. Uh, did you go underwater? <laughs> <laughs> Quite frequently. I'd say so. I'd say so. We spend most of so our time underwater. You uh, did you travel the world? Uh, no. Uh, we per we uh, operated out of Holy Lock, Scotland, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, our patrols were confined primarily to the North Atlantic and uh, the Mediterranean, uh, wherever uh, the conflict was needed uh, and or was, uh, we were there. But Tom, the word, I remember, I think it's before I came, I can't remember, but in the, in the late 50s or early 60s, wasn't there protests at Holy Lock? Was there some kind of protest about it? Uh, there was. Uh, I thought so. There was, uh, because was of, that? it was, well, uh, there was a protest when I was there in the 80s. Uh, mm -hmm. There was also the establishment of uh, Holy Lock as a uh, missile submarine site in the 60s when it was established, in 61. And uh, were they, was it serious stuff? It must have been if it made the world news. It was, it, it was serious. Uh, again, it was a time of the Cold War, mm -hmm. and there was a need for uh, uh, the U.S. to establish a, uh, a submarine base uh, to meet the needs of uh, the U.S. and uh, the world, and uh, it wasn't very popular in the 60s the to 60s. bring nuclear weapons to uh, uh, your backyard. Yeah, yeah. Right. mixing them with bagpipes. Nuclear <laughs> 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 weapons and bagpipes. Some people would say that <laughs> badly played bagpipes in justice, <laughs> offensive and nuclear weapons. <laughs> Could be said, right? <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> so on the, we'd say on your on your time off, uh, what did you guys do in Holy Lock? Well, there there were two crews to a submarine, a blue crew and a gold crew, mm -hmm. and uh, our home port was uh, New London, Connecticut, and we operated out of Holy Lock, Scotland. So. We were fortunate that we had a schedule that we knew when the ship was coming in and departing. So when the ship would come back to Holy Lock, the entire crew, 100%, Captain X all the way down to the cooks and bottle washers, would be relieved and we'd fly back to New London, Connecticut for uh, 100 days off. And during the, when I say off, we would uh, muster in the morning and perform training during the week, go, go to school for education, uh, and uh, hone our skills. And uh, after 100 days, we'd, go, we'd fly back in, uh, in force out of uh, Hartford, Connecticut, back to uh, Holy Lock, and we would relieve the inbound crew, repair the ship for uh, a week or two, mm -hmm. and uh, then depart and uh, submerge and not come back. <laughs> how, how, what was the nearest city to Holy Lock? Oh, Glasgow. Glasgow. Yeah. So did you ever get out in, in the pubs in Glasgow at all? Absolutely. Uh, well, well, yes, uh, the pubs also. But <laughs> <laughs> the restaurants, fancy restaurants. I'm sure. uh, and, and pubs, of course. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we, we uh, got to, it, you have to understand, when we were over there, uh, it was a working port. Mm -hmm. uh, we were there to repair the ship and uh, get it ready uh, to go back to sea to go on alert and cover our missile packages. Seriously? But when we got off uh, at night, uh, sometimes we were lucky enough to get a uh, two-day pass. And uh, I did make it to uh, Glasgow, Edinburgh a couple of times, and it's just beautiful uh, mm -hmm. as such. Uh, never, we couldn't leave... Uh, uh, the country. So if I wanted to go to Ireland, I could not. We, we, we were restricted to Scotland. 
All right, we'll talk more with Tom and Mary Alice and, of course, uh